Gemini, welcome to your messages from Spirit. Uh, my name is Alvin. There is a big emphasis on, on spirituality, and to be honest, Koala Spirit, Spirit has a plan with allowing a limited abundance and scared space. And I've never seen this card before. I actually had to look it up. Um, you know, scared space can be anything from temples, churches, to a place where you go and have like your peace, a place that you go and, and have a sacred, you know, scared place to go to. Um, whether it's the place where you go for your walks, a river, a hike, the beach, you know, there's a big emphasis on, on just trusting that spirit has a plan for you. Koala spirit, 35 broken down to an eight. If the numbers resonate with you. And, you know, there's there's a big emphasis here on just, just allowing for things to kind of happen and trusting that spirit has a plan. And, you know, everyone asked me, you know, how, how, how did you heal? You know, what did you do in order to get there? And, and to be honest, it's just I had this relationship with spirit, with the universe that I just knew that things were going to be okay. And I trusted. I did not know what was going to happen in front of me. I had no idea what was going to happen. I, I, I didn't. I didn't question anything that happened. And you know, when bad things happen, when things happen that you're not necessarily like want them to happen or something didn't go your way, there's something that the universe needs you to learn. Everything in life is a lesson and there's a, it is a mirror. And it's asking you to look at something. Look, look, why didn't it go wrong? There's something there that spirit wants you to look at and investigate and kind of figure out what it is that that there's something there that they want you to see. They want you to feel something. They want you to feel that emotion. They want you to feel what it feels like. They want you to, to remember something. Maybe they want you to see, see truthfully and clearly what it is that, that, that they want you to see. Maybe there's something there that, that needed to come out so that you can understand the clear vision of what it is that you actually want. Justice card, knowing the truth the truth about something, knowing the truth about what your happiness looks like and what you maybe the thing that didn't go wrong, that didn't go well is because this is what you don't want. This is what spirit's trying to tell you you shouldn't have. But going to that sacred space, going to your place to meditate, you know, uh, being a joyful person, joy at the bottom of the deck, you know, and 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 just kind of having that conversation with spirit maybe and 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 asking asking for what it is that you ask, you know, um, give your ask and and you shall receive. And having that clear communication with spirit, Gemini, having that clear communication with spirit that that the that things will the things that you want are out in the universe and, and you're willing to put in the work in order to manifest them, but allowing a limited abundance, allow to come to you what comes to you, you know, without any questions, judgments, if things don't go the way that you necessarily want them to go to, there's something there that spirit wants you to see. You know, but trust that spirit has a plan. Something didn't go right for you. There is a reason to it. There is a reason to everything. Nothing happens just because it happened. Bad things don't happen to you just because. There is something there that needs to be learned. And and once you understand that aspect and and you just trust that no matter what happens, things will go well. Not something doesn't go right. It's because it wasn't meant to be. Type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Here we have the emperor the moon, and seven of pentacles. Taking ownership of your emotions, right? Taking ownership of your emotions, seeing the reality in things and, and, and knowing what's reality and what's fantasy with the moon here. Um, taking control of, of what's real and what's not real. Do you know the difference? Because that's going to lead you into planting your seeds for the long term, seven of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, planting your seeds for the long term. But if you don't, if there's something that you don't understand and you're not trusting in spirit, and and you know you you're, you're kind of just like going around like this egotistical Aries energy, like you know saying yes, man, and, and and on the move and lots of that high energy. Aries is a lot of high energy. It's it's action oriented. It's the the male. It's the libido as well. This is also masculine energy. You know, but do you know the difference between what's real and what's not? You know, you're saying you want one thing and they gave it to you and then it didn't go well. Is that really what you want? Is that part of your long term plan? Is that the direction that you see yourself going in? It's look at it. It put it in front of you. You asked for it. It put it in front of you. Trusting that spirit has a plan for you. Trusting that things are going to go the way that. The, you know, in the direction that spirit's intending for you. 
Are you living your 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 soul path and your life's purpose? Do you know your North Node? Do you know? I wish I could put text here. Do you know your North Node? If you don't know what that is, get on Google. What's my North Node? Find out. You can find it out on a birth chart. I know some readers that can help you out with that too. Get at Gabe Stefan. Um, he can tell you. Your, oh my God. He can tell you your your North Node. And then, and if you're looking it up yourself, and then after you know your North Node, mine is in Pisces. Once you know your North Node, then see what house it's in. Then like, what what house is my North Node in? Because there's like two separate apps that can do that for you. And once you know that, right? So my North Node is in Pisces in the seventh house, I think, or the tenth house. Anyway, my sole purpose, right? So my your north node and then opposite direct that is your is your south node. Your south node is your karmatic debt and your, your past life. You believe in past lives. My past lives, I was a doctor, I was a nurse, I was some type of healer in the sense of medical. Now healers are the only ones that come back to do some sense of healing. But now my north node is in is in Pisces. I've been tended to be to be honest. This is funny, right? I'm intended to be a a spiritual leader, a healer of a spiritual lead, like leader-esque, like the Hierophant card, type of card. Like, like that, that is my soul's purpose. And I really think that I have found that here at Hype Man Messages and healing, healing those. Healers are the only ones that, that do come back in a sense of healing. Yes, I was a doctor in some sort, but now I'm more of in a spiritual sense. But healers are the only ones that, that come back to do some form of healing again because there's a lack of healers, there's a lack of doctors, there's a lack of healers. Um, so you might come back in order to do that. But So my south node is in Virgo and my north node is in Pisces. Look up your north node. Are you living your life's purpose for the long term? Bottom of the deck. I'm sorry, another card that came out, Ten of Pentacles. Ultimate abundance and joy. When you when you trust in spirit, when you trust in spirit, right, they will provide you, you know, what it is, the ultimate, they know what, what your Ten of Pentacles is. The universe knows what your Ten of Pentacles is. And it might not necessarily be at this given time. But just trusting that things will go your way will give you such a sense of ease getting out of your head, Gemini. Get the F out of your damn head. I, and I have Gemini in my chart, but I have learned to not express that side anymore because it got a Gemini in any air sign, it can just ruin their own path, ruin it with their mind. From the Hype Man deck, rewind. Oh, geez, see? Rewind. Pull back a little bit. Pull back so that you can understand what it is that you truly want. You know, look at these emotions. Feel them out. Um, know the difference between what's reality what's fantasy what's real what's not and maybe there's secrets here that need to come out you know but but owning your owning yourself owning yourself and if you have to take a step back and you have to rewind then rewind rewind there's no there's no there's no harm in that look for omens 11 11 look for signs that spirits on your side look for signs that yeah this is the right direction something didn't go well look for a sign so that you can confirmation you know i i i like to utilize my readings i don't do future predictions right i do healing and confirmation so i hope that this was a confirmation for you i hope that this was a healing for you in some sense and i'll see you guys again soon